President, for giving me this opportunity to make my voice heard. I put my questions to the President of the Audit Ticket of the Supreme Court. The first question deals with bilingualism. Mr. President of the audit bench, I don't know how comfortable you are when all documents you brought here are only in French. And to make matter worse, the presentations have appeared in French. No one presented in English. Okay, okay. Question two, Mr. President of the audit bench, I think a document is defending you on the already. Question two, how often does the audit bench go to the field for financial control of state institutions and how effective is this control? Question three, does the audit bench have judicial powers to unleash punishment to the defaulters? If yes, what are some of these punishments? And the last question, does the audit bench execute her budget as demanded by the law? If yes, what therefore accounts for its yearly presentation of their I've learned a lot from it. And within the presentation, I made to understand that the World Bank has advised allowed the bench to extend the ambition to not just financial audits, but the amount of appropriation to the project of audit. Because, might be wrong, the financial audit could be correct, so the project audit might not what I'm doing here is auditing is a quality pro pro uh, index and the execution of the project might not have the spoils, but the financial papers may come out and say it was well used. And in presenting the staff of the audit page, I didn't see any list of numbers of who could be concerned with the quality of the object of the projects government might have set out to execute. And that would require additional persons for additional section of the audit bench, if I can use that word, specialized in auditing the project. I'll give you an example. A project intended to, audit, to carry out the execution of a road. The financial papers might be right. But the work carried out in surfacing the road might not be right. Does the audit bench take into consideration this aspect? Government has spent millions for a road, they must the right financial stream, but they have one centimeter of tar on the road. I might be wrong in using this analogy, but what are the impressions of the audit bench when it comes to this issue? And uh, to state that my preoccupation is centered time. Uh, around the contrast which exists between the good services rendered by the Supreme, uh, the audit bench of the Supreme Court and the state of corruption in Cameroon. So in a country like Cameroon, whose corruption perception index has been constantly poor throughout the existence of an organization like Transparency International, and within the framework of the good services rendered by the audit bench of the Supreme Court since 20, 2006. Mr. President, what according to your institution could be, could reflect a projected impact of the numerous edits already carried out and uh, the programmed 793 accounts in its 2023 program at medium and long term on the improvement of Cameroon's corruption perception. Senator Leke, I hope I'm right. Wanted to know if we practice bilingualism or not. And that uh, all the documents were delivered in uh, presentations were done in, in one language, in 
French. And the documents were also in French. Uh, the question is that we are very bilingual in the audit page. Because most of our documents come out in both languages. And I brought my whole package of file here to show Senator Leke that this is the presentation that was just done. And this uh, booklet, you have both versions of the presentation which President Menu delivered here. Uh, the other document is the general report of the procedure which was read by was masters of the of the Supreme Court, we call them in French Conseil Metro Nouvelle It's also in French and English. So if uh, you have only French, I'm sorry that uh, maybe next time we'll endeavor to present whatever you want in both languages you want. I thought it would be monotonous to have your translation going on, and then you have the document already translated for you. <coughs> so that is why I did not come here to at least give you a summary of what Justice Menon presented this morning. Um, the further wanted to know if we go to the field or not. We do go to the field very often. And I will tell you that right now there are members of the audit bench all over for investigation. You just heard that even the amount we are ordered for missions is very little. But we manage to go. We try to do our best. So um, there's no problem. And when we go to the field, we have different types of controls. We have the management control and we have the judicial control. We come back and if it is a judicial control, you are going to add to what is before you in the documents that have been produced by the public accountants. And we will come out with a judgment, which is which starts in the form of a ruling, interlocutory judgment, and then goes to final judgment. And for the management, you will have maybe a report, observatory report, or it may progress to management judgment, which we call uh, we are just started, we are going to do it, and it will be practiced in all the divisions of the audit bench. So we don't just go to government, but we go to carry out investigation. Right now, with uh, the audits of uh, BAC, the African Development Bank, which has assigned us audit for the various projects that they have either uh, financed or they have with the, with the government financed together. You know, people have gone, gone out, and um, one of our colleagues here was in the Keta June recently, last week, to find out whether the road they are constructed there is actually going on and still the level at which it is, because it's going to enter the reports. Uh, Senator Lecler also wanted to know about our budget and how we execute it. We have a, a tier of service for administration and finance, and he keeps his record very well. Uh, we follow the program uh, budgets every year. We draw up our budget, which is attached to the budget of the Supreme Court. As the president just said, our budget is attached there, and uh, I know that we have been clamoring, even in the past years, that we should have an autonomous budget. But uh, the president has just explained to you, with my colleague here, that it is difficult because we are attached to the Supreme Court. 
So we do a project and at the end of the year all the staff are intact. Um, I hope I have answered the problem. Um, we'll go to Senator Mufon. You wanted to know whether we carry out project uh, control. We do financial control and project control. And that project control, to my understanding, is performance. Yes. We do. We have been doing, uh, I want to say, the, the initial mission the Holy Bank had was to control and rule on accounts of public accountants, including uh, de facto accountants. But recently, with uh, the finance law of 2018 and the good governance law and transparency, our mission has been enlarged and for that reason we also have performance control which is in the form of management control so we do carry out finance control and project control like i just told you that my colleague was in the field to find out whether the road construction going on in ketanjo is good enough or not and there are others who are going to go there. There are people in charge of the Mama Fair Road, uh, the Ring Road, and uh, I, I think uh, the North too. Well, in, in fact, uh, Yaoundé, Mafusam, uh, Mamenda. So the people are going down there. But our problem is finances. We don't have enough money for, to take care of all those people. Uh, missions to go and verify and support but we do go we go every time i'm standing here i will soon go out to, to check on my own project so we we'll come up and uh, write our report um, the reports or the judgment or result will come out in the form of uh, either a judicial judgment or uh, 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 observations which will carry recommendations that will give to the uh, various uh, organs and their managers. And uh, if there is any mismanagement and misappropriation, we will forward the file to the uh, Procurator General of the Supreme Court, who normally will send it to the Minister of Justice, and he in turn will conduct or send it to where the offense was committed for a thorough investigation to be carried out and the matter to be taken to court. If it is a question of fine, we can award the fine against the culprit and he will have to pay the government treasury or in debt, you know, to pay back what has been embezzled or what mis has been mismanaged to the treasury. So that is how we come up with the, the results. And uh, in the case of um, uh, mismanagement, it is very important that uh, to know that we insist a lot on the, the reform and fine. You know, we also award fines, even if you have to give us the money for mismanaging the state's property and money. Senator <coughs> Lekunze, uh, you asked why we have been resisting, we are working, and yet the rate of corruption is still surging. Uh, at the beginning, as I just said, we will focus more on the law and us only to control and judge accounts of public accountants. But with the new dispensation, we are going to work, we are extending our tentacles to control. Because the law says that we will control uh, 
authorizing officers, financial controllers, and public accountants. In short, everybody who is implicated in the institution of the budget, the budgetary operations. So whoever is involved will be accountable. And I think with that, people are trying to sit up because if you look at the rate at which we are finding shortages now, it's not like when we started. So I think it's slowing down a little bit, a little bit. <coughs> and if I come back to the COVID audit that we did, we realized that if in the first three reports, from the first report, the rate of embezzlement was quite high. But when we went to the second, we reduced a little bit. And the third one is even much better. So we are hoping that because that COVID audit is an eye opener for many Cameroonians. They didn't know that the body bank exists and uh, that uh, we are doing anything substantial. So when the audit uh, came from COVID reforms, and uh, fortunately, many people now know that we exist and what we are doing. Because you can carry you to jail just as, you know, you can be asked to pay back monies with a lot of recommendations. So, um, we hope that in the next few years, and with the constant descent to the various structures, uh, the rate of corruption will die down a little bit or much further. Because people are now that they have been controlled, and neither the uh, financial controllers will have to be controlled. You know, we used to go to some companies, we call them parastatals, uh, we want to control. They say, no, 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 you cannot control us, we, we don't have a public accountant. But yet, yeah, we are supposed to control them. We will not come up with a judgment as short as that, but we will write an observatory report where we will recommend and even direct you on how to manage your institution. So, I hope I have succinctly replied to your words. Thank you very much. <laughs>